Hello and welcome back to StarCraft, where today we're going to be showing off another matchup here. And this time it is going to be against Carrix. Last time in the episode where Carrix was completely dominant, we got to see both sides where just Carrix just took everyone to town. And it was no fun for my team or the other team when I was Carrix. It was, it was a great experience. This time we're going to be turning the tables. This time it is going to be Kerrigan versus Carrix. Let me go ahead and get some love in the comments below for my opponents here, Draco, who has volunteered to be Carex to have a little bit of fun with this. So, I'm just going to be doing a start here as I normally do. I uh, will see now that I am against Carex. Normally, I wouldn't know beforehand that I'm against Carex, but my opponent has opened with an Energizer, which is a dead giveaway that he's Carex. So, I'm just going to play now that I know he's Carex. The, the region, when I first start off, I always start off with the Extractor first, just because it's really hard to punish me for it. And uh, then Kerrigan. Kerrigan goes next. If I'm in the first position, I'll use the Raptor Link to go ahead and claim the middle bonus, just as we did this time. Although the Energizer does beat the Raptor Link. I'll go ahead and get these upgrades here and go straight to Tech 2 as soon as possible. I don't really need this Raptor Link anymore. I could sell him off, but he's super cheap, so why not keep him for now, just, just in case? We'll see how things go. What is my teammate? Okay, so my ally in the third position is... Nova versus Dahaka, where my ally in the second position was, I believe that's Abathur versus Rainer, so he knows how to handle that. Go ahead and disable these, just so the autocast, if I'm not paying attention, only does damage. Ah, yes. He's going with the Sentinel option, that's not going to save him. As we get up to Tech 2 and begin our, our destruction of all things Carex. So... Unlike the last one where Carex just kind of outvalued my oppo the uh, opponents, this time we just have a unit that Carex literally cannot deal with. There's um, there's nothing there's nothing Carex to do. Like Carex does not have the options to deal with Kerrigan Mutalisks, which is uh, quite funny because they're just Mutalisks, and you would think Mirages, which do extra damage versus uh, <laughs> versus Mutalisks, would do well. Doesn't doesn't work at all. And the reason it doesn't work is because of the chain attack. Literally, Kerrigan Mutas are just so strong that it beats everything. It beats Mirages out of the sky. It beats, uh, well, Carriers out of the sky. There is no, there's no two ways about it. Kerrix just straight loses in the air and lacking any other anti-air options, aside from sentries, which don't really count as anti-air, then you just, you just beat Kerrix. That's it. Like, what's he gonna do? Mass Immortals? They're just gonna get chipped down by, by Mutas as they try to walk underneath. And Kerrigan Mutas, they hit really hard, guys. Like, they really do. Uh, yeah, just let that happen. I should not have let it auto-cast that close into turret range. Uh, so I'm just saving up a little bit because Kerrigan obviously just wins the wave. No need to, no need to get hasty here. In fact, I could get another, another gas extractor before doing this, but, uh, let's just get on the field and start doing damage. Let him... Give my opponent an opportunity to see the death that is coming for him before just overrunning him. Ooh, dear. Uh, ally is going mass ghost, it would seem, out of Nova, which is a quick way to lose the game. Fortunately, we have a hard counter on our team, which is going to help out. Mm -hmm. uh, Dahaka also is kind of is soft countered by uh, Broodmutas, so it's, it's a soft counter it, into a hard counter, so it, it should be pretty easy. I don't have to worry too much about this. This is like, this is one of those matches just on the draw. One team is just going to win, and there's yeah, it is what it is. The Car the Carex here is um, there is a little bit of play he can do, but it, at the end of the day, it really doesn't matter. He's going to lose the game. I just realized we're also pushing into Zagara, which is another, which is also hard countered by Kerrigan, Kerrigan Muta specifically. So that's the three commanders that get countered by Kerrigan Muta's all in one match. That's. That's an oof right there. Okay, let's get this up to six targets. So it does full damage bounce to six targets because that's a brutal chain attack right there. Come on, vision. Perfect. Yeah, that's, uh, oh, gonna be a tough one. We just got to make sure that uh, teammates don't, I'm, I, I, can, I only spawn once every three waves. So it is possible that my allies lose this for us, but... That's going to be really hard because none of the enemy's waves have the units that can deal with Kerrigan Mutas. That's how good they are. Like, this carrier, he's going to try. You know what's going to happen? It's not a cost-effective trade for him. 
the uh, primal worms doing a fair amount of damage actually killing off a couple of muters and does that is he gonna win this one yes but without those uh without those worms it would have been a very different story it's fine as he gets more uh, as we get more and more muters that will change you will have no opportunity the thing about mutas is things is they scale much better than anything on Carrick's, Carrick's side do, does. Because Mirages, they um, don't have any kind of chain attack. They just don't scale at all with each other. They just get constantly more powerful the more of them you add. Whereas mutas with the chain attack, they can they scale up not quite as well as AoE, but it's still better than not having a chain attack. Like he could have six carriers that would all die just as fast as one carrier. So up until he gets six carriers, up until he gets that seventh carrier, he's not going to be adding a significant, any notable amount of HP to his wave, which is kind of dangerous. Like, see, these two carriers will die at the same time. And um, that process will repeat all the way up until he gets the seventh carrier on the field. So as long as I just keep my mutas all in the same corner here, just to make sure they don't spread out, and that they're all hitting the same target, then it's, it's easy. Like, that's all there is to it. I could lose... I could lose my wave if I scatter these guys everywhere such that they don't hit the same target but as long as the targets are being focused down it's it's an easy win easy win now the Carex player can can try to mitigate some of the damage by going mirages and scattering them all over the place that way it makes the mutas have to scatter all over the place which spreads out the damage and gives him a little bit of time to play with it's not a lot of time and it doesn't it's not going to be the difference between winning and losing. You're still going to lose. But at least you could get some more damage done. Now, obviously, he does have the big laser beam, and the big laser beam does help a lot. It will kind of wipe out the entire wave. But... The, um... You does. The beam follows the hero? Yeah. That's, uh... That's why I have it over here, albeit I, I, I saw the beam drifting away following the hero, and I, I kind of expected it to not kill the mutas, but it killed the mutas, which makes me sad. That's a tough one. Panzer, you're playing with fire there. Vikings versus, uh... Vikings versus those, uh, Scourge. Doesn't win in the early game, usually. You gotta get kind of lucky. Alright, just gonna make sure to burn down to Haka real quick. And double tap. Beautiful. Kill everything else. Nice. And then kill off all the carriers with that ridiculous bouncing that goes around here. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Yeah, he's just. The worms are just eating my mutilisks out of the sky. That's. That's an oof. So yeah, it's just a rough time all around. Right. I'm going to have to do a separate videos on facing Zagara and Dahaka, so I'm not going to talk about it too much, but in a similar scenario where they just don't have un air superiority units that can deal with deal with Kerrigan Mutas, it's, it's really just a lack of air splash of any kind, even air chain attack, that puts them at such an egregious disadvantage. So like... The hacker doesn't have anything. Creeper hosts don't deal air splash, so he doesn't have anything that can deal with mutas. So like, you just kind of got to deal as much damage as you can with things like hydras or the creeper host just to get off that guaranteed damage. It doesn't fix it. Is the problem? You're going. It's a losing game. I can just keep building mutas, and there's really not much you could do about it. So like, watch. It just crashes down upon them, and um, we have a pretty thick flock of mutilists here, so we're going to get to see versus the Scourge in a moment here. Unless they fight off... So, the th it's the same thing with the Scourge. As the Scourge come, they just get chopped down because there's so much chain attack. The Scourges all get killed off before they get an opportunity to even hit the mutilists. Although mutilists are air splash, it's not good enough air splash to beat the mutas, which is the problem out of Zagara, and I'm going to have to show you showcase that in a separate video. But as is, it's it's even to the point where we are just kind of crushing through Carex at such a such a so hard and so quickly, so easily that there's not even much to talk about. It just you just roll over them and you just kind of hope that your team, as the Carex player, you just kind of hope that your teammates can mitigate the damage and try to offset the waves. 
Like, y you can do all that you want. You can just be like, uh, let me just scatter mirages everywhere in the hope that my mirages will deal enough damage that my teammates can deal with the remnant muta. And just, you got it. there's no ways about it. Like, even in the, the last video where we had the Carex matchup, at least the Nova could do something past 15 minutes. In the video, I didn't happen to encounter a match where we lived that long, but... Yeah, there, so is life. But in, when it comes to uh, Carex in this matchup, there's, there's nothing you can do. It's just... It's just a bad time all around. Let's just toss this down here. Cute. Get this. Uh, let's go with the third extractor, just so I could see how many... Oh, no, no, We'll just own the mid, just get out as many mutas as possible. Try to end it, because I can. Uh, at some point, I'm going to want to get tier 3. Just for the upgrades. Like, I, I literally do not need more units than the, um... Than the mutalisks. Like, these two mutas going off to the side is what I want to avoid. I want them to be in a clump so they all kill the same mutate at once. Just makes the just makes the destruction happen faster. As we chop all this down. Uh, we are fighting on turret, so the Scourge may... A couple Scourge collided. Because the mutas are distracted. Alright, so I'm going to do this, this. This guy is a little close, I think. This guy as well. A little close to mid, getting off-center. They're all to one side. Beautiful. As we get closer and closer to taking their taking their turret. Get one more muter down. Beautiful. Mass ghost. This isn't a thing, by the way. Like the only reason he's not you guys saw in the early earlier bit, he's losing his wave every single time against his opponents. Like these mirage even the mirages, well it's not a big surprise. But they will obliterate the Spec Ops Ghost. Like, Mass Ghost is not a thing. The only reason we haven't lost yet is because I, this particular Kerrigan composition literally counters everything, every single commander on the opposing wave, the opposing team. That's the only reason we haven't lost already. And also, Panzer is good at this game. That's, that's related too. God, they just have so much stuff to chunk through. It's so good. I can, it's fun watching them, the mutas just kind of eat everything. But they just have so much stuff, so many waves piling on top of each other. And we're constantly fighting on top of the turret. When they have uh, the shield regenerators, and then each of those worms is 500 HP, which is a lot of HP for a mutilus to jump through. Right. Is it time to go tier 3 for plus 3 plus 3? I don't think so. But getting close. Because that's only a 10% bonus to damage. That plus 3 3. Ah, uh, nope. Autocast, you failed, mate. Needed you to hit the Haka. Okay. Yep. Instantly just pop all of those mirages. Very good. Make those guys go away. Let me scan here real quick to clear up the ground. I'm going to get an Overseer way in the back. Just so we have detection. And how much damage we do here. We do a lot of splashing around, but not a lot of actual killing. Which is going to make a difference my ally here. So he clears out all of those. Ooh. Looks like the ground units of Zagara came through and almost cleared out the, our bunker, which would have been unfortunate. Okay, just keep this going. I think I can fit another one up. Not before the wave starts. Yeah, that's uh, mighty rough. Okay, let me manual cast this just to make sure she goes away. Well, stop following my mutalisks. Is that enough? Yeah, the beam just kind of eats mutalisks for dinner, which is really rather unfortunate. But that's something that's only going to happen once every several waves, which kind of brings the importance of attempting to mitigate your wave. Because sometimes something like that will happen, either your teammates get it ahead, and you need to be able to deal as much damage as possible. Just because you're hard countered doesn't mean you don't play to try to beat your opponent. Alright. Is it really the mass snipes that's costing us this much? Oof. 
I think it is. Because this wave is doing nothing. Oh dear. Well, it's time to pull this back. Good news is, once... I can guess it go better my scans. Good news is, once our wave comes up, then it's just death everywhere. Where did our overseer go? Oh, he's sitting over there staring at Dahaka. Just chunking through this. He's got 3 3. Alright, so let me go ahead and get the weapon upgrades just to make this happen faster. Yeah, it's happening too slowly. But we ate the rest of the Dahaka wave and then also killed off just about the entirety of the Karax wave. Only that carrier on this side survived. Good job. <sighs> Ghosts are... They have a pretty strong alpha strike, but they don't have damage output afterwards. They don't really... That's 21 damage every one second. Which seems okay up until you realize that the 375 minerals, which is a lot of minerals to be spending on 20 DPS. It really is a lot of minerals to be spending on 20 DPS. Like, even these mutas, which cost 125, deal 12 at the same rate of one second. But that's 12 to 6 targets, because it's chain attack. So, that's... That's, cl that's closer to, that's much closer to 60 DPS for a third of the price. Literally a third of the price. But you don't... Ghosts are not good units, guys. They're really not. Why don't you guys not move over here? Why don't you over here? That way, you don't... You take... It's fine. Conveniently, we now have access to the Immobilization Wave, which deals 100 damage to all air units, as well as stuns stuns all air, all units, period, in the in the wave, which is quite strong. I'm going to be using that, I think, this wave, because I think we're going to need it. Okay. Alright, just stun everything, deal damage to everything, please kill the Hake. That's not going to happen. Dahaka is going to walk under because Dahaka is big and fat and made of thousands of HP. Now the Mutaflock is splitting in half, which is not what we want. Well, oh, at least you get to clean up some of these guys before my ally has to clean the leaks. And the splash damage reigns supreme. Okay. Allied Panzer trying to assist Nova in what to do, but I think Nova is just trying to meme it up. Which, I don't know if he's said that this is like a, un a perfectly winnable matchup for us, but you know, generally when I see a Nova going ghost, I just kind of assume that he's just wanting to have fun at the cost of the game. Which is kind of surprising considering that we're very likely to win this, even if it's taking longer than I wanted it to take! This is fine. It's, it's just giving a lot of a, a lot of example of, oh my god, look how quickly those mutilists just eat everything. <laughs> Wiping everything out. Yeah, that's why you don't... That, that, I mean, it is what it is. The Scourge, the Scourge, they do nothing because the mutas eat everything. Yep. That's multiple waves wiped with one wave of mutas. Ooh. That's, uh, let's get some more of those guys, because we can. This is a very muta heavy match, and I like it this way. So, so that's like, we cleaned up like half of, with that last push, we cleaned up like half of a Dahaka, the entirety of a Karex, and then the entirety of a Zagara, which is just, that's just a rough time. I feel so bad for the enemy team here. That's a lot of carriers. It would be a shame if there were some mutilisks on the way. The giant biggest mutilisk block I've built in a long time, actually. It's very rare that I get an opportunity like this to build so many mutas. Uh, I'm going to be that cheeky guy who just puts my creep tumors over here. Oh, oh, okay. Well, they just saved themselves by beaming. Well, that, that happens sometimes. That's fine. We'll just do. We'll just push again next wave. 
they won't have the beam next wave, so they can't kill up all my mutas. What was once the largest flock of mutas I've ever spawned is now fried charcoal. Uh, and to kill counter on Carrick's laser beam. It's fine. Okay, move here. And that'll be good enough. Let's go ahead and select you, put your hotkey 2, so that I can micromanage the abilities. Specifically the immobilization wave against all those air units. Because plus 100 damage to air is quite strong. Didn't activate before Kerrigan died. This is fine because we're just going to wipe everything out. Okay, the Scourge are dying instantly without touching my mutas, which is kind of the whole point. But I think he's got enough Hydras to beat down my mutas by pure brute force. Where's my ally? Oh, he's all the way over here, cleaning up the aberrations because aberrations run underneath everything. Good job. How are you doing? Good over here. Dahaka's trying. I think Tahaka's not going to make it this time. Yeah, without the giant lizard, the, um, they don't have much meat left. And the Carex is not going to... The Carex is not going not gonna to do much here, is he? Oh, right. He's against ghosts and Nova. That's right. Carex versus Nova. You know, we know, we've know we seen how that one goes. Let's jump over here. Stone everything. There we go. So now we're fighting two waves at the same time, including Scourge, and well, there goes the entirety of Carex, and two waves at the same time. Yeah, not close. We still have how many mutas? We have 35 mutas that survived that. GG. Alright guys, if you want to see more of this series, make sure to let me know in the Discord below. I do take all the suggestions and such from the Discord. So from now, I'll see you guys later.